I just got this Lotos LT5000D plasma cutter. It's a 50 amp plasma cutter. It's supposed to cut up to quarter inch plate. Um, it was from Newegg.com. It was $250 uh, with free shipping. And uh, Home Depot carries them for about $389 right now. And uh, I'd have to pay tax doing that. Eh. And I've wanted a plasma cutter for a while. It's just been out of my price range. But $250 is uh, quite reasonable. Let's hope it works. I'm going to unbox it now. So I unboxed it and I have it all set up. Uh, it took about 45 minutes to set it up. Um, I'm outside the garage here. Um, it's the closest connection I have to the power for welding. And I made a little 15 foot extension cable so I can get to it. But that was probably half the time I spent setting it up. And here we are. It has a 0 to 50 amp current control on it. The on off switch to turn the unit on and off. An overcurrent indicator. Uh, this is the uh, air fitting for the torch assembly. And then this is the on off connection for the torch. It goes down this cable and ends up about 15 feet later at this torch head. This is the on off button. You just push it and it uh, applies power to the torch tip so you get a plasma arc going and then it'll blow air through it. So, uh, this is the ground connection for the grounding connect, uh, clamp that goes on your work material. And on the back side, they provided a regulator and a pressure gauge um, bracket to mount the regulator to the housing. Um, they provided some fittings and some hoses. Uh, I cut the hose short so that uh, it's this nice little loop here, maybe 12 inches clamped it on. They did not provide um, the uh, Teflon tape, so you're going to need to provide your own Teflon tape when you put it together. And the little fitting they provided with the barbs on it that goes into this was kind of chintzy and it doesn't close up all the way. It doesn't uh, seal even with Teflon tape, so you get a little tiny air leak here. I'm going to replace that later when I get a chance. i got to get a barb fitting for that. It's a quarter inch uh, NPT fitting. So um, if you're not going to use the regulator they provided, these two studs that stick out of the back of the cabinet had these uh, nuts with flat washers on it. Uh, they were pretty loose so I would tighten those up if you're not going to use it. Um, that'll just prevent them from falling into something later on. But let's get to cutting some material and see how well it works. So when I bought this, I thought it would only do quarter inch plate, but the manual seems to suggest that uh, it'll do 5 8 inch uh, mild steel. And it'll do half inch stainless steel and half inch aluminum. So I'm going to give it a shot here. I got a piece of half inch uh, mild steel plate, this piece here. And we're going to try and cut this one. Let's see how it works. So just to show you that this is half inch steel, I'm going to measure it with a caliper and uh, get the reading off of it and there we are it's about half an inch a little little more so I'm gonna go ahead and try and cut this guy all right always make sure you have the proper safety equipment I'm using leather welding gloves and I'm using a uh, automatic uh, welding mask to shield my eyes from the UV that's produced by the uh, cutting torch. So, I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot here. cuts that stuff. Kind of cool. Let's try some aluminum. So this is the uh, cut I just made in that half inch plate. It's pretty clean. It's a nice cut. 
I'm gonna try some aluminum next. So this is a half inch piece of bar stock aluminum I have. It's maybe an um, inch and a quarter wide. I normally cut this stuff on the table saw, but I just want to see how well it cuts with the plasma cutter. Alright, so it does not cut very well with the plasma cutter. I'm going to go with some thinner uh, aluminum, try that next, but I'm going to get a close up on this so you guys can see it. I mean, it tried to cut through it, but definitely did not cut it. Alright, so this piece is, uh, measures uh, 0 0.193 uh, inches across and we're going to give it a shot. Okay, so this is what the aluminum cut looks like. Not too, too clean. Uh, it's the, uh, I prefer the table saw over the uh, plasma cutter for the aluminum. But definitely for the steel, oh my, it cuts really well. So that is a half inch plate that it cut. You can see here, there's my finger. So, I give it a thumbs up for the price. 250 bucks, it's a pretty decent cutter. I hope it uh, has some longevity. Thanks for watching.